back to my channel and if you are someone with your biomechanics examinations coming in next week or two weeks after or even if you have just got your timetables for a university examination this video is the right one for you because throughout in this video we will discuss some of the most ECS strategies through which we can secure the best mark in biomechanics examination in an exam which is uh, seen as a step one through these strategies, you can get the best mark, not just a pass mark, but the best mark. Through these strategies which I'm telling you are not some conventional one, but these are the ones which I have practiced throughout in my academic life, which did help me to get one of the best marks in my examination in my undergraduate studies, as well as to become the university topper in undergraduate studies. So. Let us look through some of these strategies which I believe can definitely make your life easy. A few weeks back we had a video on how to study biomechanics and I believe that most of you have watched it. But uh, those videos or uh, those strategies are not going to help you when examination is at the door. That is because those are the strategies for a long period of time. But now you need some strong, short and quick strategies which are going to help uh, help you to master and get the best mark in examination. So let us see how can we get the best out of a biomechanics examination. First important thing that I want to tell you is that take a white paper, take a four sheet paper or a paper from long notebook don't uh, be miser in this don't just take a very small paper with something all written over that no take a clear white blank paper and when you have that paper take one or two pens like this or one or two pens with the different colors then open your textbook keep your syllabus with you and write down the all the chapter names oh my god what is this yes you have to write down all the chapter names one by one. Don't go for shortcuts over there. Don't write temporomandibular joint TMG. Just write it in as it is. Just write it as it is in, in your best handwriting. Taking some time, 10 or 15 minutes to for the same task because this is the sole foundation of our strategies. Now you have got in a very good white sheet all your chapters. The 14 chapters that you have to study or in some part of India maybe 16 or 70 or 12 or 10 different topics you, for you to study that's the first thing that you have done that you have to do and when it is done you are all set to go now you need to identify which are the important chapters from that for that you need to just think on the questions that was asked in your internal examinations questions which was discussed by your teachers and the chapters which were given the greatest stress when they were taken from there you have to identify the easiest chapter the not the easiest chapter the most important one the most important one would be difficult for you too because for example you have two weeks uh, after two weeks you have the examination and you are giving four or uh, four days for biomech studies and uh, you end up a half day studying thorax and chest wall absolutely ridiculous because that's not a chapter having a greater weightage or you spend a half day for studying temporal mandibular joint because that is easy and you think that uh, yes this is easy for me I will get all the marks that are being going to be asked from this chapter I'm not going to miss this I will study this perfect how perfect you study you just get the three marks or five marks from that you can't expect an essay from that question chapter so if you uh, do not think and waste your time on uh, less relevant chapters you are going to be screwed at the end. So identify which are the most important chapters. That's so easy because you know that in biomarker, gait is important, shoulder is important, hip is important, and of course you can find which are the next rest of the important chapters are specific to your universities, right? So uh, we got a white paper, we got the important chapters. Now, the next strategy is that uh, you need to identify the pattern of your examination and the important questions. You just got the important chapters. Now you have to find out the important question. How can you do that? Just have to take the previous year question papers. How can you get the previous year question paper? It's available in the library. 
but now libraries are closed so libraries closed what can you do of course most of them are available in the net uh, you can get in your university website for example in Kerala you get in Kohas website there is a previous question because just search it download it here and keep it in your keep it with you and then go through your internal exam questions because teachers would mostly ask you the important questions get the help from seniors ask someone which are the important questions which are asked don't uh, ask someone who is going to give you negatives okay ask someone who is uh, really uh, gonna to help you and most importantly in our channel we have the important questions in hip complex already discussed one video knee complex already discussed and shoulder complex already discussed so that's done for you actually you can utilize that channel so so and today i have just announced that there is a question booklet a, a printer printable question booklet with all important questions from each chapter maybe around 30 uh, that is uh, like a two question two important essay questions from each chapter written down from various previous question papers answer answer how to write it along with the short answers and short notes of course you can get it just with the 99 rupees which is not even as uh, cost of an eating out uh, anyhow this is not an advertisement uh, video but still you can utilize all those opportunities around you and find out the important questions that's very important from each chapter you have to identify at least the most important questions for essays so why should we identify easy questions essay questions we can just study the whole chapter right no that's the thing because we, there is a peculiarity with essay questions and that peculiarity is that uh, you can predict which are the essay questions to be asked and there won't be much variation 95 percentage the questions which i tell would be asked that is because uh, that's a general pattern nobody can ask a coraco chromia arms as an essay question they can ask you only static and dynamic stabilization or structure of shoulder joint you know that right so when you know that the essay question you are half done what's the mark weightage for essay questions it's almost 30 marks in some examinations it's 40 in some it is 25 in some out of 50 for pass mark you write essay very well you master the essay and you write essay very well if you write an average level to above average you get 20 marks or 25 marks half mark you have already got the half mark see if you are writing it most beautifully you'll get something greater than 25 you are all set to go your uh, excellent score a plus grade that is above 90 or above 80 above 70 all are determined by how you perform well in your exam essay question so give importance to that identify the essay question and stress on to that clear so that's the next strategy that i told you identify pattern of exam that is uh, how different weightages are given and from that identify the important questions you can write down the important questions in another piece of paper and keep it always with you how you studied that you can check it or you can write down in the textbook itself or in the notebook good all set to go yeah next one is when you store you have all the strategies ahead you have a peace of mind ahead with you and you just start your day uh, don't just go with that important questions at one time read your notebook completely don't go for the textbook it starts <laughs> it's not that easy to uh, read it for the first time it will just make you feel fed up okay so go through your notebook just read it thoroughly with peace of mind don't try to learn too much just read it one and get familiarized with those things that are in the chapter okay that's just the first one next time when you are going to read it uh, this would be our first reading that's just a vague reading will take you maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes after that give your mind your attention and try to focus on those important essay questions short note questions and short answers why you want to read it one time is that when you read it one time you will understand which are the things to be focused other than the essay you will understand which are the short answers which are the short note questions so read that for second time you just revise it master it give your time give your time and go through it go through it well giving your maximum attention right that is the most important strategy that is revise 
and revise. So you uh, started the day morning 10 o'clock, you gave two hours to study your biomech examination, give a break in between that. I would suggest you go for a break after 40 minutes because that's a maximum span you can attend to, like 30 or 40 minutes, but it depends upon you. You can go for one hour and then give a short break and come back and uh, just read it again. So when you're reading, uh, you will understand that there are some important points which there is a chance to be forget. That's the chance that you can forget that point. So just write down that points in another notebook. Somewhere beautifully you can write down that points. Very short one. Don't write as an elaborate essay there. Just as the point. So, and all done. You studied very much. You studied anatomy, physiology, or electrotherapy, or exotherapy. And then going to sleep at uh, night. Spend one hour. And that time, just read down this uh, what you have studied. Just take down that notebook and read down that important questions again. Or just close your mind and just recollect what are the what are the questions that is what is static and dynamic stimulation just recollect it then you will miss you will feel that you are missing some points that not points would be here and if you are not if it is not there write down it again there and add on that points and go to sleep so you done the revision next morning I strongly suggest you get up fresh and at least have a quick go through these questions. So that's easy. Yeah? You don't think that it's a very difficult task. For example, when you're just brushing your teeth, when you're bathing or when you're having a break, just think on that questions. Oh, that's easy. So if you miss some point, we just go back. In this notebook, those points will be here. So you are adding on the images to your brain. You are adding on notes to your brain to remember, remember, remember. Ultimately, it's all done. And stop with the next day. Don't go much more than that. Go for the next chapters. And finally, at the end of the week, or at the fourth day or uh, you have two weeks for examination at the end of the week revise it once again it will hardly take you one hour but that one hour is going to determine how your performance is going to uh, how your performance is going to be that single one hour at the end of the week because that is going to give your brain it's all done yes so those are the most important thing and then any examination is not successful without having the time schedule I would strongly suggest when you have an ex uh, important essay questions with you, write down this because this question is going to take your time. Some of you write down the study the essay question perfectly and take one hour to write one essay or 45 minutes to write one essay, next 45 minutes to write one essay. But you get 30 marks, 70 marks is uh, remaining and you just have one and a half hours for that. Ridiculous. Huh? It's going to be, it's going to make you tensed and it's going to just uh, cost you. So, practice your time schedule. Uh, there will be a video definitely for exam point of view, how to divide the time schedule for exam. But still, I would suggest you at this point of time, give, design your time schedule right uh, with yourself and write down this essay. Nobody is going to do that, I know. <laughs> but you have to try. Essay questions, when you write down one thing, it's uh, strongly getting into your mind and it will get you this important skill of time management. That is very, very important. The people who score 80, 70 and 90 are all not just because of their brain but because how they manage the time. So if you want to score well, manage your time. If you want just 50 marks, I don't suggest you to go much with the time schedule. But if you want to score well, practice it. Don't be fed up with uh, writing the essay question once again. We have all done that. I have done that. That's why I advise you that. And then of course in your free times watch the important videos which we have in our channel or take on your notebook and just uh, go through the important ones once again practice diagrams biomech exam diagram ultimately it will give you uh, around in 115 marks in different different questions you'll get diagrams some 10 to 15 marks or 5 to 10 marks in diagrams itself because in essay you'll give me, you might get two marks if you have draw if you if you draw a beautiful diagram two essays it makes four totally you'll get some good marks of practice diagrams and finally these are all some strategies which i followed but you might have some different strategies definitely go with that there is no uh handwritten there is no handwritten rule that you should follow this one which is convenient for you you have to follow it or most important thing over here is that be confident in yourself and in your preparations always throughout your study timetable or study days give your mind a boosting boost it 
yeah, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And one thing that I missed to tell you is that when you finish a chapter, take a good colored pen and just underline that, cross that chapter. By the week or four days, you can see that first day you just have to cross one or two chapters because you are so in that. Second day, it becomes a four. Third day, it becomes six. Oh my God, I have studied this much chapter. It's just an added boosting to your mind and it will definitely help you. So, underline or cross that chapter, just cut it. When you do the revision, just cut it once again. See? So that is going to help you a lot. That was a, one of the most important thing that I always used to follow. Whichever is a subject, I always uh, cut it, cut it, and cut it. Ultimately, at the um, when it comes to approach, it, the paper is uh, like uh, you can't read the chapters. That's, it's going to be such a great boost for your mind. So be confident and practice some of this technique. Not all. I don't suggest you to follow all. Whichever is convenient for you, just follow that. Success is yours provided you believe it is yours and you hard work for it if you are a uh, dead dreamer you won't get it how to do the hard work and believe you can do it then definitely nothing can stand as an opposition for you all the best for your examinations and if you like the video don't forget to click like button and do share with your friends because it's important that uh, you do something worthy and uh, make a difference in someone's life because that's going to give you the heavenly blessing which will help you in examination.